Hello everybody, it's Robbie here and I'm coming to you today with a review and a walkthrough of a new Evan Moore product. It's called Science Lessons and Investigations and this is for grade 5. So the reason I wanted to bring this to you is because this is a new product from Evan Moore and it's really different than anything I've seen before. So if you want to, as a homeschool family, just pick and choose some units based on interest. If you want to, um, if you're doing a co-op and you're not following a specific curriculum, but you want to do some fun hands-on activities, or if you have a classroom, um, and I know this is a homeschool channel, but if you just happen to have a classroom and are just looking for reviews on Evan Moore, uh, this is actually a really fun project base course on three different science topics. So let me get into this and show you what's in here. This is way more hands-on than some of the other programs that I've seen and it's really tailored to um, developing critical thinking skills. So if you have a student that really struggles in that area, this could be a little bit frustrating, but if you have a, a science-minded student or you're going to be doing a co-op and you're going to be working in a collaborative setting or you have a lot of different kids in your homeschool and you want some hands-on collaborative projects this is going to be a fantastic resource for you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover one lesson in each of the three topics that are covered in this book and then if you want more information i suggest going to the evan moore website because you can click on the the viewing um, option from this particular product and you can see literally the entire book you can flip through the whole thing and I just find that really helpful if you can't physically get your hands on something and you really want to see what's in it that's the best way to do it Evan Moore is really really fantastic about that okay so this particular book covers life science earth science and physical science you get um, an overview of what's in the book you get a section on how to use it. You also get a little form letter. So if you happen to be in a co-op and you need parents to bring items, um, a supply, you know, you pick items from a supply list that they can bring in to donate for the co-op. Or if you happen to have a classroom, you have a little form letter here that you can copy and just send home with students. And then now we're in the first lesson. Okay. so. The first lesson here is a life science lesson. It's on healthy ecosystems. So you first get a concept overview, the lesson objectives, and the learning approach that it's going to be taking. You then get a little table of contents, and this is only referencing the um, contents for this particular lesson. And then you get some basic instruction to the teacher on how to teach this lesson. So this is a little more teacher intensive than some of the other Evan Moore um, books that I've seen. Although a student could still do this independently, it really is meant to be more of a teacher-led collaborative project-based resource. So it tells you how to introduce the concept. It gives you a spark question. It gives you a discussion uh, guide. And then it gives you an exploration activity um, within this and it gives you the preparation instructions here. So this page here is meant to be displayed so that the students can contemplate various questions and try to answer questions based on what they see here in the pictures. So this page is just a page of photos, but the instructional guide here on this page will tell you what the photos are for. For instance, it says here, have them study the other photos and discuss how these habitats are different. So in and of itself, this page isn't going to have any explanation to it. That's what I mean by it needs to be teacher led. Um, although it really is a collaborative project based unit. So it's not like the teacher is going to have to be standing in front of a classroom and doing a big teaching segment on this lesson. So after you do the discussion based on the photos, then you're going to go into the lesson and there's the first thing they're going to do is a project and it talks about what you're going to need for it, what you'll do for it. And then after you do the project or the experiment or whatever it is they have you do, 
then you're gonna record your data and your observations. Using your observations, how diverse do you think the ecosystem is? What evidence do you have to support your thinking? So then you go into the lesson, the teaching. So I think it's really cool the way they do this. They want you to do the experiment, come up with your own conclusions, and then you get to kind of figure out whether or not you were right based on what you came up with um, in relation to the outcome of the project experiment or whatever it is. Then you go into some vocabulary. You've got vocabulary page here, a vocabulary review here. Then you have some comprehension questions based on the, the lesson. And again, you'll notice there's more writing here than what you typically see in some of the Evan Moore, other Evan Moore science books. And then you've got some extension activities. So there's three extension activities. There's two different writing activities. One's a prediction activity, one's an imaginary um, activity, and then there's a project. So I would say that you don't necessarily have to do all three. You could just pick one, depending upon how much time you want to give to this lesson, or how interested the student is in it, or how maybe interested they are in the project. You see what I mean? Like there's just options here, and I think that's really cool. But it gives you, uh, the student, the opportunity to apply what they've learned. And it's got three different ways that they can do that. So I thought that was pretty cool. This one is a research project. You get to research a local ecosystem by talking to members of a local conservation group. Um, there was another cool one here where they take earthworms and create a little ecosystem and find out what they like. If I can find it. Yeah, okay, so in this one, they get to um, take eight to 10 earthworms, cover them with shredded newspaper, and about the same time each day, remove the newspaper and figure out what they ate. And you had to, you know, it tells you what, how to create their little, their little environment with a box and the, the, the soil and the water and then the food that you can give them. There's apple, cores, pear cores, lettuce, corn cobs, eggshells, banana peels, watermelon, rind, leaves, and then you get to uh, observe them. It doesn't even tell you how long to do it. So you can do it for however many days you feel like you've, you know, need to collect enough data to come up with um, a conclusion. So I thought that was cool. This really looks like a lot of fun. And if you have a student that doesn't like book work, that really wants something that's more hands-on, but you want them to be able to take what they've learned and apply it in written form, this covers both. So they get both the hands-on aspect and the written comprehension and critical thinking aspect too. So now we're in earth science, we're in patterns on earth. And again, it's set up the same exact way. You've got the concept, the learning objectives, the learning approach, and the table of contents for this lesson. You have the instructional guide here, the set of photos that I was referenced. You've got the project that you're going to be doing, and then a place to record observations. And then you've got the text, the instructional text. Then you've got vocabulary, the vocabulary review, comprehension questions, and then three different extension projects. An explanation, an invention, and a project. This one's a research project. Research the various patterns associated with the mysterious monument and write or record a tour highlighting the patterns and what they might have meant to the civilization that built it. And I want to say there was a pretty cool project, hands-on project in here. This one is to write a, a guide that people could use to find which way they're headed during different times of the year for the part of the world that they live in. This is an Air Force experiment. Okay. And now this is a lesson from the physical science section. It's identifying matter by properties. 
Again, set up the same way. You've got your concept, your objectives, your approach, and then your little table of contents. You've got the instructional guide for the lesson, your discussion photos, your project, a place to record observations, your instructional text, vocabulary, vocabulary review, your comprehension section, and then your extension activities. Here's one application, imagine, and then a project. This one's a video challenge. You get to choose a substance that is not easily recognizable. Do not tell the viewers what the substance is and in the video label properties that can be observed by looking at it. Show yourself or someone else investigating the substance using the senses of smell, touch, and hearing and indicate these results. Then show the substance interacting with water, heat, and magnets. Post a video challenge for classmates, friends, and family members and have them respond with their best guess to the identity of the mystery matter. So again, I like how this addresses the student under different circumstances, whether they're introducing their video to classmates, friends, or family members. So it's not really excluding in any one group of students. It could be a homeschool family. It could be, um, it could be a classroom setting. It could be, you know, uh, with a group of friends at a co-op. It could be any of those scenarios. So um, anyway, I just thought this was really cool and unique, and it is a new product for them. Uh, I was not at all familiar with it, so I did want to get my hands on it, and they did send it to me in exchange for my honest review. But uh, anyway, I'll kind of finish out here, flipping through. But yeah, that's it. And then, of course, as always, the answer key is in the back, and you can rip these pages out. Um, also, Evan Moore's license does give you the permission to duplicate all of these pages. So if you purchase the book, you can replicate all of the pages that you need for as many students as you're working with in a co-op setting or a classroom setting or a family setting. You, can't, you cannot share them with other families, but you can um, share it you know, within multiple students within your classroom. Um, also, they sell an ebook version of this, as well as most of their, most if not all of their other books, an ebook version. So you just print off the pages and the number of um, quantity, you know, that you need. So you just print off the pages that you need for the number of students that you need. So if you have a number of students that you need to print this off for, it might be easier actually to buy the ebook and just print it that way than to take this and you know, duplicate all the pages that you need. Um, but if you just have one student, they can work directly in the book and it might be easier that way. So whatever works. Um, there's also a really, really cool new product called Teacher File Box. And this is like a subscription service where you get access to like pretty much every book that Evermore has ever released. It's really cool. So you could search by topic and it'll pull up all the units, not the books, the units that are based on that topic. So you can pull from like a ton of different resources. It's like an unschooler's dream, truly, because if say you're in the middle of something and all of a sudden your student asks you about Pocahontas, okay? And so you're like, oh yeah. So you can go to the teacher file box, search up Pocahontas, it'll pull up every unit that has been done through the Evermore resources on Pocahontas you can pick one and just print it off. So literally, and it's unlimited, but it's like a subscription. There's a 30 day trial and they do have a limit on the number of pages you can print in the 30 day trial. But if you sign up for the trial, you can try it out. It's like 30, I mean, it's like a hundred pages, I think, which is, I think pretty generous. And so, um, but if you get the subscription, then you'll have it for the whole year. And so, um, I've looked up numerous historical topics. You can look up science topics if you're doing a unit on weather and you don't want to have to buy various books to, you know, cover that topic. You can literally use the teacher file box to look up all the units that they have on weather and just print out the ones you want. I, I'm just really, really impressed with this particular tool. So I'll have all that stuff linked below. There are going to be, they will be affiliate links if I can talk right. Um, so, you know, there's a small commission that goes to me if you choose to use the affiliate links, but don't feel pressured to do that. But if you do, thank you. It just helps support my channel in a very small way. 
Um, but uh, truly, it won't change the price that you pay for the products that you get from them. Um, I'll have affiliate links for Amazon as well if you choose to get them from Amazon. Um, always check the Evanmore site though before you buy anything from them because sometimes they offer really good sales that beat out any of the other vendors pricing on their stuff. Um, so anyway, that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer best I can. Otherwise, thank you so much for coming to my channel today. And again, if you want to see this in full, go to their site. You'll be able to li literally flip through every single page of the book and get an idea of whether or not this is going to work for you. And of course, the teacher file box link will be down below as well. Um, and I'll do a full review on that as soon as I can. So anyway, thank you so much. You have a great rest of your day. And um, again, uh, subscribe and thumbs up if you like this kind of content because I have more to come. Thanks. Bye.